bring in Rebecca Lowe, NBC Sports Premier League host, the voice of reason, by the way. You uh, joining us to talk some World Cup, and uh, she joins us on the program. One week ago today. I mean, one week. What was to, one, one week ago what today. Was one week? What? What, Dan? USA, England. Yeah, do we? I mean, it was a go, a go being the operative word. Can we talk about the future? Who were you rooting for? <laughs> You know who I was rooting for. You know full well who I was rooting for. England. Correct. By the way, <laughs> that poll, that poll is brilliant. And and to, everyone is correct. Saturday is the only day of interest this weekend. I mean, I'm finally feeling like you, your listeners, this country, they're understanding the beautiful game. If the United States beats the Netherlands, fill in the blank after that. Well, then, A, they go to the quarterfinals, and that will be, I'm not, I actually can't remember the bracket who they possibly could play against, but the bigger issue there, well, not issue, but the bigger effect is the amount of coverage that will get in this country, the step forward that that will be for this team and this sport in this country. And, you know, I'm all about growing the game, Dan Patrick. I'm all about growing the game, so go USA. If England had lost to the United States. Yeah. What would have happened? Yeah. What would have happened? Well, it, nothing really in terms of the effect of it, because USA would probably have gone through as group winners and England would still have beaten Wales because Wales were rubbish and would have gone through second. So England would have played Netherlands and USA would have played Senegal. I actually think Netherlands might be an easier tie than Senegal. So, you know, if we lost to the USA, you know, there would have been some major inquest situations going on in England, but we'd have forgotten it very quickly, just like I'm over it already. I don't even know why you brought it up because Wales, we smashed them and now we're into the last okay. So we're just all about the future, Dan Patrick. All right. Sometimes it's just a uh, hypothetical, a, a what if scenario. That's all. That's it. Ah. We, we deal <laughs> yeah. in hypotheticals here. Well, I've got a hypothetical for you. What if you weren't so excited about nil-nil with England? I mean, what if, you know, guys, calm down. Okay. How about this? Let's say... <laughs> Christian Pulisic got hurt yeah. and you were yeah. in England and you were describing it for the BBC. <laughs> I knew you were going to go here tonight. I knew it. I didn't I lead with this. I did not lead with this. It's funny. Every time I come on this show, we either swear or we talk about a part of the anatomy, which we just don't need to talk about, or we talk about rubbers, pencil erasers. Um, uh, Pulisic's... Um, um, nether regions. But that's not really British, is nether regions. Like, I'm, no. I'm thinking, how would you describe it if you were home? Well, if I was on television in England, I would probably say, you know, the lower part of the pelvis. I'm not, uh, we, you know, I wouldn't, I'd have to be very careful. I wouldn't say what you want, <laughs> what you want me to say. <laughs> say every time I'm, I'm here, not, I'm not having you say bollocks. I'm not or wanker. I'm not doing that. I I said it. I'm not saying that you. I you're on the BBC. They would say these things, wouldn't they? They would not. Ab Dan, absolutely. Sky Sports. No would way. Sky Sports? No, no, no one is saying the B word. No one is saying the W word. Only we say that, or you say that on your show. We don't say that. We say the nether region okay. or the lower section of the pelvis. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. Uh, how important do you think that goal was for Christian Pulisic as far as how we view him? You know, the, yeah. the big stage uh, probably has been a disappointment uh, in the Premier League, but that was a, a one of the biggest goals we've ever had. Yeah, I, you're spot on. You're absolutely spot on. His time at Chelsea has been disappointing, Dan, on a number of levels. He's not had enough game time. When he does come in, he sometimes makes an impact, sometimes doesn't. He just cannot command a starting position in that Chelsea lineup. They now have a new manager in Graham Potter, so that may change. But going into this World Cup, he hadn't had a lot of minutes under his belt, and he's really injury prone. So going into this World Cup, it was all about Pulisic as the gem. Pulisic is the star of this team. Can he step up? And that is a question that we ask about so many soccer players going into the World Cup. Is the star player going to step up? And so far, to be fair to him, he is showing us at this World Cup, why Chelsea paid so much money for his services and why he should be at the best league in the world, which is the Premier League. And I wonder about this. We talk about it in sports here in the United States of having that experience, going through something, 
I think they're the second youngest team. I think Ghana is the youngest team, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. Iran was the oldest team. I, I wonder about that experience in World Cup as opposed to, you know, something like the Premier League. Yeah, and I think I think you're right because the World Cup is a completely different bubble. It's an it's a very very unique feeling, and and very few players get to play more than just one. When you're young, you just don't have as much fear in anything, Dan. You know, whether you're at school and you're going out, you know, partying on a weekend, you don't have that fear that say like you have when you were 30 years old when you're like, oh, I'm not going to go to that particular party. That's why young people make mistakes. So they don't have the fear. This young American team doesn't have the fear. It doesn't have the experience. They feel like they have nothing to lose, even though there will always be pressure on them, especially with the um, the World Cup coming to the United States in four years' time. But I think the youth is what's driving this team. Time to play Know Your Netherlands. Are you ready? Oh, always, Dan, for you. I'm always ready. And I said Netherlands, okay? Um, Checking you did say that. Okay. Yes, I did. Paulie, the first question for Rebecca Lowe oh, on no. Know Your Netherlands. Okay, uh, what did the Netherlands used to be called? Holland. Correct. Is that right? Boop, boop, boop. And, and Paulie, I feel like if you're from the 90s, like me, then you still call them Holland, but you're probably not allowed to. I think it's, it's, I frowned frowned upon. Upon. it's frowned upon. It's frowned upon. Yeah, yes, frowned, okay, I better not then. I better stay. Okay. okay, all right. Netherlands, yeah. next, next question. No, you're Netherlands. All right. Uh, if you are from the Netherlands, you are blank. Dutch. Dutch is correct. Whoa, whoa. All right, they get tougher. Guys, right. guys. Guys, please, they got to get tougher. <laughs> this, is not, this is not as tough as the uh, Becoming American quiz that we gave her three years ago. Yeah, she True. failed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was invented in the Netherlands? What was invented in the Netherlands that's become something that's all over the world and a big part of the business side of the world? The business side of the world? Yeah, given hints. I mean... As that, I, oh yeah, that's a massive hint. I mean, I've no idea. Big part of the business. So I'm not. I mean, that's just not my area. The stock market. La- stock market. Dutch East India Trading oh. Company. Mate, look at that. They're Fascinating. So easy. Fascinating. So much to know about the. Okay, Shut here we go. What up. else do we have? <laughs> okay, there, this is fill in the blank. Okay. There are more blank in Netherlands than people. There are more blank in Netherlands than people. Um. Uh, tulips, goats, clogs. All are all are correct, but we were looking for bicycles. 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 <laughs> tulips can be approved answer. I I said <laughs> clogs. You. My my answer was clogs. clogs. Yeah, my yeah. answer was clogs too. Uh, okay. <laughs> Everyone's the, got two pairs. The final question for Rebecca Lowe. Know your Netherlands. Okay, there are four possible answers. <laughs> Name a famous person who is from the Netherlands or ancestors are from the Netherlands. No hints. Go, not not a footballer. Not a footballer. No. Football? no. Oh, do me a favor. Rue um, Ru Van Nisselrooy. You wanted to go there, didn't you? I. <laughs> I did oh, you not. did not. Okay. <laughs> no, but your knowledge honestly continues to astound me. Yes. Um. No, I was going to go for um. Johan Cruyff, obviously, because he's incredibly famous. But in terms of an. I think there was a, wasn't the guy in The Sound of Music from, was he neither? I basically, I don't know. Basically, I just haven't got a lot of Dutch people Dan, in my mind. Shockingly, we're going to accept that. A guy from The Sound of Music was Dutch. We're going to accept that no, answer. No, we're not Thank accepting you. that. Thank you, Thank you Paulie. No. Yes, we are, Dan. Yes, we are. We, I know we, my Netherlands. We always, we would have taken Rucker Hauer, Vincent van Gogh, Rembrandt, or Eddie Van Halen. You need to know your Netherlands. Don't worry about mine. No, we know our Netherlands. I said Van Gogh. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Van Gogh. Uh, what would you give up for England to win the World Cup? Not so much, Dan. It's a great question. I mean, take my house. <laughs> I, 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 I really believe that if England, oh God, it's just, it just makes me sweaty thinking about it. If England win the World Cup, it will rank as the top three days of my life. Can't tell you the order. But it's going to rank in that top three. It will be. It will. And, and by the way, we're going to England to restart the Premier League on Boxing Day, December the twenty sixth, from Arsenal. So we're going over as a family. Or next week, week after. So we're going to be there. Should it happen? Should England get to the final? We will be in England. I am going to be right in the middle of that carnage, right in the middle of Oxford Circus. That's where you're going to find me in amongst the carnage. All right. So your marriage, your son Teddy, and yeah. winning the World Cup. In no particular order. I'm guessing having your son. 
<laughs> England wins the World Cup. <laughs> and then and then getting married. In no particular order, Dan, I couldn't possibly call it. <laughs> okay, maybe it's winning the World Cup. Anybody can get married. A lot of people have kids. England doesn't win the World Cup. Exactly. England, Jeez. Teddy, and then getting married. I have a question for you. Okay. What 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 do you think USA guessing to the quarterfinals would do for football in this country? I think they'd have to go a step further. Semifinals, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Final four. I you know, we we view it like March Madness where you have these surprises in March Madness and then you get to the final four and that's where the real teams show up. I think getting to the final four, no matter what happened after that, and then four years down the road, you know, the second youngest team at this World Cup. Now you got that experience, momentum, interest in the United States. Do you need, I, th- I mean, if if you need me, I like it. you want me to help I like you, it. you know? Anytime. You know that I can do NFL just as well as you can do soccer. So we're, we can just <laughs> interchangeable. That's not, we're not, we shouldn't be bragging about that. that that's not a, that's not a good thing. Uh, it's great to talk to you. Safe travels. Always. Uh, Thank you, my friend. Go England. Go England. Go USA. Go both of them. But just so much love between You know, countries. as Harry Kane goes, England goes. That's it. Harry yeah. Kane! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Once again, Kristen Pulisic got hit in the nether region. Uh, thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. Bye, I, I love making her blush. <laughs> I do. I, I, I love making her blush. I like that you, you're like, what would you say on BBC? Oh, they would say, okay, what well, Sky Sports would. <laughs> Sky Sports would say it, though, right? <laughs> Damn it, will you tell me what I want to hear? Okay, no, but what about Sky Sports? They definitely would, right? (laughs) Oh, and she knew that I was going there. I waited four questions in before I went there.